What's up, B-Stars fam? What's going on? The loco, uh, let me see. Voloco on here. We're going to talk to Patrick a little bit about Voloco and this new integration and partnership with these. Yeah. What's up, Patrick? Hey, good to talk to you. How's it going, man? It's going great. Yeah? Yeah, I was, I've been browsing a lot of beats today. Have That's you? what I've been doing. Yes. Okay. Started my next, my next, my next track. So. What? There's, yes. You know I've got an account on Voloco, right? I post. Do you? Yeah. Sick. Yeah. So. Okay. I need. Start, I need to start please. posting on there for please. sure. Yeah. Yes. I've got. I've got some. Got some verses that I need to let loose on. Uh, on the Voloco app. So. Yeah. Man, thank you. Thank, thank you for. I appreciate you taking the time to talk to us and just kind of get on yeah. get on here and, um, you know, talk to the people, the community of Beat Stars, the community of Voloco. Today was a really, really cool. You know. Uh, Honestly, man, an epic day in the first part of this journey yeah, and this partnership absolutely. that we have uh, with, with B-Stars and Voloco that I think is going to be super impactful for, like, all kind of creators, you know, mm -hmm. um, for artists, producers, singers, songwriters. Um, you know, we, we're moving, we're moving um, you know, in this mobile first world and the tools and the services that are out there that just bri bridge the, the, the kind of, like, value gap so artists can just like create content quicker and release it to the world quicker and get feedback yeah. quicker and engage their fans quicker and and also just to be able to like freely experiment and jot down ideas yeah. for their albums or singles anyway it's just a, it's a great moment in like digital music history and today beat stars just to recap beat stars and voloco have announced today um, a native integration where the voloco record app is now on all the free downloadable free downloadable beats on beat stars that allows artists to just yeah. simply import into a voloco session to create an audio track a video track to create content to post into the voloco feed to engage with the voloco community and and then soon soon to be new new and amazing features um, in the future. And um, producers today also got the ability to find out who's using their music on Voloco with all of these imports. So they're getting like user data on all these artists from BeatStars that are using that are using the Voloco integration, recording songs, and that data is that data is being sent back into BeatStar Studio in the stats section and the customer section. Just another new warm lead system for the music producer entrepreneurs to like build and, and continue to engage with their fans. But man, honestly, I really wanted to, for those BeatStars users that are not familiar with Voloco and kind of like the story behind Voloco, you being the founder or the CEO, I'd love for you to kind of like tell the community, like when, you know, when did you, when did you start the company, man? And why, why did you start this company, dude? Well, it's a long story. I'm going to keep it short. Um, but it all started with my own creative work. Like I had an experimental music project and I wanted to add vocals to it, but I'm not a good singer. Like I, mm. my sense of pitch, you know, it's not, it's not too, it's not good. And so I started writing my own pitch correction software for use with my own project. Mm. Um, kind of the theme of that was like, try to build everything myself. Don't rely on other people's software, other people's tools, really try to, to take DIY to the max. And so I wrote my own pitch correction software for that project. Um, and I released it as an Android me, app. Yeah, yeah, hold on, let me stop you there. Let me stop yeah. you there because there has been other pitch correction kind of like software in the world mm -hmm. that's more integrated into the DAWs, but like mobile, well, mobile right. launching first as an Android app, that was pretty like unknown at that time when, yeah, the, when like, right? Yeah, that was a weird business decision that just happened to be like i was better at that programming language so i at the mm. time so i released on android for that reason um fast forward a few years i was working in the software industry and i met some guys and we decided to do a project together build we built a different music audio app that didn't do so well but we liked working together so we revived voloco and really started putting effort into polishing it and making it the best uh you know audio vocal recording app that it could be and we re re released it around 2015, 
And with no marketing, it went from about 15 downloads a day, all of a sudden it climbed to 100 and then 1,000 and then 15,000. And basically on word of mouth alone, because we don't, we've never really done a lot of marketing. Um, and people just like how it sounds. Uh, and that's mm. kind of what's carried, uh, carried the app to, to, to where it is today. Well, well, that's um, a testament, dude. That's a testament to, you know, yours and the team at Voloco's like hard work at like caring about putting that level yeah. of standard and quality for, for, mm -hmm. you know, for this mobile computing yeah. device that we right. carry with us everywhere. And, you know, in 2015, uh, I mean, the iPhone was great, but I don't, you know, I don't necessarily think that the iPhone and Android devices at that time were really kind of made for, like, we're not made, like, like they, they weren't really fully capable of the full, like, experience of music making at that time, right? So, you know, I'm sure that, you know, as you guys were developing and building this tool and, and, and every device that comes after and the new mm -hmm. updates and the audio cards that get better and better. Like at, in 2015, did you think that you guys would have the, what is it, almost close to 60, 70 million yeah. downloads of, of, you know, folks that have used no. the, the app? Like, did you, did you can anticipate that at some point these devices were gonna catch up to the point where it's gonna be mass usage like this? I mean, you know, sometimes we got, signs that wow there's a lot of demand for this kind of thing that people want to make mm -hmm. they want to make music where they are whether that's you know at home or on the go because they're traveling and they don't have access to a studio we got hints of that but when we were starting no these kinds of numbers i didn't i didn't imagine that they would get right. so big but that's right. where it is because like you said everyone you people have these and it's often whether someone's going to go into the studio later or not it's the easiest right. way to record it's the device they have yeah um, and I will say, just so everyone knows, you know, Voloco is a free mobile recording studio application, guys, mm -hmm. with tons of cool audio processing features that can manipulate vocals and enhance your vocals. I mean, the dude, the quality that I had just out of those those um, wired headphones mm -hmm. that I used yeah. for for like a, a draft recording on Voloco when I was using it recently mm -hmm. yeah. was was amazing. Oh, so like you guys. Yeah. Dude, because it's crazy to me because for sure, like the input is not that good. Right. So knowing that you guys are utilizing smart technology to take this audio file that's not the highest of quality, but right. actually turn it turn it into something that's acceptable with that those type of those type of features that you guys have built right. in through I don't know artificial intelligence or whatever it is that you guys are doing them the magic sauce and you know but I would say that. Um, it was such an acceptable vocal that I was like, man, I might, I might drop this on right. like TikTok or Instagram just for the, just for people right. to hear it. Like it was pretty cool. Yeah, we've put, it was really good. Thank you. We've put a lot of time into effort in trying to make every vocal that you record, whether you're using headphones or you're, or you're not using headsets, sound as close to professional as possible. Yeah. And there's, you know, there's a lot of little things there, you know, and we don't always like reveal in the UI what we're doing, but behind the scenes, we are doing automatic declipping. We're doing uh, denoising in real time. You don't have to press a button later. It just happens and you don't have to worry about it. Um, we're, we're doing dynamic range compression and automatically detecting what the appropriate threshold should be for that. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's a lot of stuff that's happening automatically that you get no matter what that's going to make the vocal sound as good as possible. That's so dope. That's so dope. All right, dude. So it's 2024. All right, artists yeah. have no excuse now to start dropping, start start, yeah. start dropping vocals, or at least experimenting on beats. Yeah. Where now over three million of our free downloadable beats are now available for import wow. into the Voloco app, which is really fucking awesome. That's... Because I think as an artist, for me, um, I do this all the time. As as an artist, when I'm writing music, usually when um, I'm like coming up with a, with a song. I usually go, if there's a free download, I'll download it and, and I'll just, that, you know, put that file into a DAW and just start experimenting, like start right. writing lyrics and seeing if it's good enough for me to release before I buy a license. And so I feel like it provides like a healthier relationship between the artists and the producers where artists are now going to have access to this tool that will incentivize them to then buy a real yeah. license to use for commercial usage. It, it gets them over that, that hurdle of, of, of deciding whether that beat is yeah. valuable to them or not, right? Yeah. And so 
I'm excited about what that does and like all the crazy songs mm. that are going to come out of it. Mm. But then I, I wanted to ask you, like, hey, we've already seen this. We've already seen the stories, right? Uh, David, D4VD, you know, you know, purchased the beats for Romantic Homicide and Here With Me on mm. Beat Stars, and then used a mobile recording setup to to record those vocals and those those um you know those songs turn into multi billion yeah. you know count streams right right when you hear that when you hear that like those were some of the biggest songs last year right i'm 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 at acl austin city limits and and the stage and and the stage for for david is crazy it's massive like yeah. he has thousands and thousands of fans on his debut debut kind of like tour and concerts and it's just and they said they said he recorded it in his bedroom in the closet at the house got the beats off of beat stars and turned them into like yeah. amazing hits and now the guy's the guy's gone he's skyrocketed he's out yeah. of here right. right he's out of here when you hear those kind of stories in when when you hear like what mobile recording um does and 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 like the potential the possibilities of what this partnership is going to bring to these aspiring artists like what do you what are you most excited about? Well, I think there's going to be a lot more of that. Um, we're going to have people recording hit songs at home and you know, possibly even just mastering them on the phone, creating the final product on the phone and maybe even distributing from the phone. Um, that's their choice. You know, you can sort of step off of that mobile production process at any, at any step and, and, and do the more traditional route if you want to. But I think you're going to have the capability to do the whole thing on your device, finding the beat, recording the vocal, mixing and mastering on the phone, and then and distribution as well um, through any of the, the services that do that. So I, I think that's, uh, that's really exciting. So we're gonna have a lot more of those stories and it'll, it'll actually stop being a story. It'll just be right. the normal right. way things happen. And, wow. uh, and I think True. that's really exciting, especially for people who maybe they don't, they don't, you know, so much of music and getting your stuff out there is about networking and, you know, and no, being in the right physical place and being, having proximity to certain centers of music making. And I think that being able to do this all on mobile enables people who maybe don't live in those particular places or don't have access to the more mm. expensive tools mm. to be able to make music. Um, right. And some of, some of the favorite messages that we get are from people who talk about how they made, you know, high quality tracks on their phone right. and they didn't didn't have to go buy a computer, you know, because for a lot of people, like just the, the conventional bedroom producer setup right. with a computer right. and an expensive microphone is still financially a, a stretch. And so yeah. Yeah. allowing those people to make high quality, record high quality tracks and get those out in the world, that that's, uh, that's very gratifying. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. It's kind of like, you know, I know, I know the, the computer device for some people, laptop computers can be a barrier, mm -hmm. like from an affordability standpoint mm -hmm. for a lot of creators. But for those that were able to get a hold of a computer and get access to an inexpensive DAW like um, FL Studio, mm -hmm. and we've seen what that that democratization of access to software and tools yeah. can do for people all over the yeah. world. Some of the biggest producers on BeatStars come from the most obscure places yeah. in the world or you would think this small little village or this third world country or this 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 little island that has a population of where we've seen these like crazy crazy stories come out of yeah. where you know there these producers are becoming entrepreneurs and building their own businesses now now for me um i'm i'm just curious about like because i'm i'm a nerd all right so mm -hmm. now i got i got the possibilities swirling in my brain about on uh, mobile music making and as a recording artist i'm like okay how much more can i bend out of this device right. now right, right. Ooh, okay i can do vocals okay what else can i do with this device and i think you know um for a lot of people who are always on the go and they're they're, they're mobile going i do believe there is a limitation there's going to be a limit of course your your input's your input so mm -hmm. so these wired headphones with the with the microphone on mm -hmm. them um can be replaced with better hardware right, right? can yeah. be can be replaced with better hardware there are there are audio interfaces yeah. now that are hooking up into yeah. the phone where you can actually 
put a higher quality microphone into the flow of the music making mm -hmm. process. So do you recommend, do you recommend, and I mean, I don't know how much these like, these devices cost or just this, these hardware, these hardware pieces cost, but do you recommend people that have started out being su successful recording mobile mm -hmm. and, and seeing success with it, kind of upgrading, upgrading their, 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 their gear a little bit to even squeeze a little bit yeah. more out of Voloco and so iPhone? I've got a very simple and actually inexpensive recommendation. The most bang for your buck that you can do to improve sound quality. Uh -huh. You can actually keep this wired headset, but use a pop filter. Mm. The, the pop, pop filter does so much. So I've heard, I've heard people um, record vocals with the headset and Voloco and just they tape the microphone behind the pop, pop filter and it sounds, it sounds so good. What? So, and then, you know, Pop filter is like ten or twelve dollars. So that's crazy. You know, so that's know that's a huge improvement right. for ten bucks. Okay. Um, okay. But if you do want to go the route of an interface and uh, you know uh, a nice mic, you know you can get. Uh, I think the iRig Pre is. We don't have a deal with them, but it's what pops yeah. in my head. Um, I think what is that like fifty, sixty yeah. bucks maybe? Maybe it's a yeah. hundred. I forget. Right. Not too bad. So that's a good. I do have an iRig. Hold. Let me show it to you. Yeah. I do have this iRig microphone. Would this work with Voloco? I'm just curious. Um, it hooks straight into my, straight into the phone. Oh, yeah. This one. I, uh, I got, see, I have two iRig products. Can I, can I use that? Because I could, I could technically put Probably. my headphone jacks in here for, for, for right. playback. So would this, this would work natively with Voloco, right? And it was like a hundred bucks, I think. It was like well, hundred bucks. You'll need that's to plug in somehow. It's like a lightning cable. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's got a yeah, lightning okay. cable. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, then sure. Cable, yeah. So that'll work. Yeah, it's got a lightning cable that goes right into the right into the iPhone. Yeah. So, so that, that works. So that works, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. So there so there are some so I I guess for like people that are just like I'm just because a lot of people doubt the the processing power the device capabilities i, I would tell people yeah. these devices are computers yeah. they can what what just like your desktop or laptop you still got to plug in an audio interface to get the, the right microphone right. quality yeah. right so they're making what's cool is they're making microphones that plug directly into the power in, into the lightning uh, uh port yeah. and you're capturing like pretty high quality audio i use this thing all yeah. the time it's so the quality is great sounds it's good so dope. yeah um, and we also yeah so, so i should mention so, so that there, there's yeah. so that's what i'm saying like there's ability for people to upgrade their 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 experience with the phone yeah, if they want to you know absolutely and if you're the kind of person who really wants to get in, in there and turn knobs right to, to taste and to, to perfect the sound we did recently open up all of the parameters in what we call our, our polish pipeline which means compression eq delay a reverb now you can now tweak all those individual parameters so if you want to boost 8k by 2 db or whatever to you know get that right amount of sparkle you can do that um it's not just presets anymore you know you can set the parameter values to whatever you want and um we're seeing a lot of people we're seeing from the analytics that it's, it's very popular especially with the delay people love designing delays um that's the most pop okay. popular thing to tweak i don't I wouldn't have guessed, but yeah, I don't know. All right. So people, people create their own delays. Do they, are those publicly available for other people to play with? Ah, or good question. They will be. Oh, so, uh, so I guess I'm, I don't think this is okay. a secret. Right, well, I, 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 no, no, I'll, I'll <laughs> share it. Um, so, right. We're going to make it easier for people to just like create complete vocal chains and yeah. then share them with anyone else oh. in the app. So yes, you can design your own, your total, your whole effects chain and then share it with others. So that's going to be a thing Sick. in the loco. That's year. so dope. Yeah. That's so dope. Now, there's a lot of people on here that are, you know, really making big, um, big strides on platforms like Instagram, TikTok. They're creating these reels. They're creating these video, these, you know, these pieces of video content. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people sleep on the fact that you can actually create content on Voloco that, that combines audio and video. Right. and create new pieces of content that's shareable for all your social yeah. platforms as well as shareable within within the um the voloco app which mm -hmm. i think people are probably sleeping on that too and i think um you know folks folks who are visual artists first they want to create fast content that's that's a really really cool feature any do you have any like any anything you want to talk about on that side the video audio side well we, uh, 
Voloco is really a Swiss army knife for audio. And I think that's a lot of these features are just, you know, most, a lot of people don't even know about all the other stuff it can do. Like you can import a video, separate the, it's like a music video, for example, you can import the video, separate the audio and then separate the vocals from the instrumental part in the audio. Oh. And then process the audio, the vocals. I mean, this might be more of a humor application oh. if you wanted to oh. say like, Th throw throw pitch correction on something that didn't originally have it and see right. what it, what it right. sounds like. Uh, but that's you know one of the things you can do. You can also import audio, you know, and then separate a vocal from the instrumental, and then just maybe just use the backing track as sort of like a karaoke style thing. Or what I often like to do when you're trying to learn how to sound like someone else, you mm. you import the whole song you separate the vocal from the instrumental and then when you're recording you can hear the original vocal you know in your headphone monitor but then you're recording your own voice on a separate track and right. you can sort of then then you know then you can you, know, you can mute the original vocal when you export and sort of you know compare compare yourself right. to the original right. so that's a, that's a good way to like learn you know, someone else's style for sure for sure yeah. that's awesome that's awesome, man. That's that's really cool. It's so many so many different dynamic ways to use the application. Um, yeah. It's really really powerful. It's really powerful. Um, we've I mean I know we've got some. Um, let me see. You guys have any questions in in the in the in the comments? You guys want to ask Patrick and myself? But I think we've covered. I think we covered a lot yeah. of a lot of topics. Um, um, exciting day. Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully, 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 yeah. Hopefully, we get to hear. A bunch of great new music being yeah. made and more yeah. more beats being licensed for yeah. for producers and everyone just happy i mean i know? i can't express how excited i am to have the, the incredible wealth of the beat stars catalog be you know a lot of that be accessible and then to voloco users and you know there's, there's so much there no i thought our catalog was pretty cool because yeah we, you know we've got some talented it's producers good. on the platform yeah, but you course. guys there's there's so much the variety of genres yeah. and and the depths and the richness of what you have is is incomparable and it, to, Thanks, it's I fantastic. Mean, hey man, me and you have been talking about and dreaming about this for a long time. Yes, like been, uh, that first call was years. years ago. Yes, you know. So ever since our guy Tantu hooked us up. That's right. Us. Shout out to Tantu. <laughs> yeah, no, he's great, man. He's yeah. he's also making some just amazing music with with Voloco. He shows me how he uses it, and it's just just so cool how he puts it into his his stack of creation. So. Yeah. Um, shout out to Tantu, Patrick. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. You're just welcome. talking to the folks, and, you know, and just have have everyone learn learn about what we're doing. Um, any any last words for the for the people? I can't, I can't wait to see what people make. And this is not the uh, this is not the end of the interoperability features and the collaboration. This is the beginning. Mm. We've got a lot more cool mm. stuff coming. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how much detail we want to go into, but. Um, yeah. More good stuff to come. Yeah, this is phase, phase one. This is phase one. Yeah. All right, people, people, thank you so much for tuning in. Patrick, I appreciate it, bro. Have a good night. Thank you for your time. Congratulations and um, right. Godspeed, man. Thanks, Peace. Ed. Have a good one.